hi <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to the weekly vlog so many of you have been requesting that i do more cooking and meal prep here on my channel so that's what we're doing today one of my big goals for 2018 is to do more meal prepping because it saves you so much time so much money and it makes you more likely to eat healthy if you plan it in advance so i'm going to be showing you my breakfast lunch and dinner meal prep for the week and then afterwards i have so much footage from the past couple weeks we took carter on his first trip so that will be a little bit later in the vlog so stay tuned for that and so with that said let's jump into our meal prep first recipe is my breakfast quiche i make two of these and it lasts me for two weeks so i start off with these organic whole wheat pie shells you could just use regular pie shells to save time i get these organic pre-washed and pre-cut vegetables i just go ahead and cut them a little bit smaller which takes very little time. And then I saute these just until they are lightly cooked. This is our very extra salt dispenser that we got for Christmas. <laughs> Isn't that too funny? It lights up. I just do a light saute on these for about three to five minutes just to soften them up a little bit. Okay, so for the filling, I'm doing four regular eggs, one small carton of liquid egg whites, and then about half a cup of milk or a milk substitute. Also totally optional, not as healthy, but I do like to add just about a quarter cup of cheese for flavor purposes. I am adding cheddar. Now we are going to assemble our quiche. Start by putting half of your sauteed veggies in one and half in the other. And just because I feel like I didn't make quite enough vegetables, I'm also going to add some spinach. Okay, and then all we need to do is add our filling. Okay, and this is our egg white only version. This is what Ryan and Carter are going to eat. And now we are going to pop these in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. You just want to keep an eye on them and they're done once you can put a knife through them and it comes out clean. So in the morning for breakfast, I just cut myself a little slice of my breakfast quiche. So easy to do. All you have to do is reheat. For my lunch meal prep, I am making rice and bean bowls. These have been one of my favorite lunches for years and years. First thing is brown rice. I just buy frozen brown rice. It's a lot faster and easier to make. Put a little bit of that on the bottom, then some black beans. Then you can add shredded chicken or meat of your choice. I'm actually going to add this shredded jackfruit, which is a meat substitute. I add some crumbled up cojita cheese. some cilantro, and then the day of, I put some fresh avocado and some crumbled up tortilla chips just for an added crunch factor. Here it is, one of my favorite lunch meals I've been eating for years. For dinner, we are making a three bean chili with added vegetables and ground turkey. So to start things off, I get one small onion, dice that up, get that going to caramelize in my pot, and then I add the ground turkey. This is 5% fat, white meat, ground turkey. To this, I add some vegetables. I get my veggies pre-washed and pre-cut. I just cut them a little bit smaller into bite-sized pieces. I add this so they can saute. For spices, I'm putting in one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of cayenne, and some salt and pepper. You can go to town and add a lot more spices to this, but I just like to keep it simple. Then I put in one jar of crushed tomatoes and one jar of diced tomatoes. Put in one bag of frozen corn and some cilantro. Put the lid on and let it simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes. But this is so easy to make. I put a little bit in the freezer and some in the fridge to eat throughout the week. So 
that is my meal prep for the week. If you guys enjoyed seeing that, if you want me to do more of it, then give us a thumbs up and let me know what other cooking or meal prep related videos you want to see me do. I've been hearing a lot about the Instant Pot and I'm thinking I might need to buy it and try it and show you guys some recipes. So if you have an Instant Pot, let me know. Is it worth it? Should I buy it? But we're not done yet. I have so much vlog footage I've taken over the past couple weeks. The first thing is Carter's first trip. We went on a six hour road trip to Arizona to visit two couple friends of ours. It is so crazy. We just so happened to all have babies within 10 days of each other. That was not planned. And it was the first time of us getting all the babies together. Thanks to your advice, the trip was very smooth. You guys gave the advice to travel when he is sleeping. So that's what we did. It was perfect. Once we got there, he was a little out of his element, a little cranky, slow to warm up. But as time passed, he did warm up a little bit and he was happier and it was so much fun. Okay, check out their backyard setup. Yeah, right. Well, you know, the whole fountain, thing. fire pit, fountain. infinity pool. It's like the ultimate backyard. It's Carter's first time on the swings. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at his face. Oh. He's like, he loves it. Oh, he's the moms went on a spa day, which was much needed. The spa we went to was so beautiful. Definitely had that Arizona vibe to it. We all got massages, it was wonderful. And then for New Year's, we had a feast and we had so much fun. So that was an amazing trip. He loves the splash. <laughs> this is Carter's new toy he got for his birthday. <laughs> Yay! Hey, good boy. Yay, you love your splash center. <laughs> Dada. Come this way. Uh, uh, uh. Splash, splash. <laughs> You guys, look what we finally got installed. Our pool fence. I feel so much better knowing that Carter cannot get into the pool. And we just got this mesh one, which is awesome because you can put it up or take it down. All right, we are at the safari park. We're here with Mandy. Woo! Woo! She's in town. We have Carter, number one. Are you excited? Did you see Birdie? <laughs> Check this out. Willow are usually really good diggers and that's how they get away from their predators. The African bullfrog. It is probably one of the <gasps> few frogs Whoa, look at that, that guy. eats rodents. <gasps> so it eats like not even other frogs. Which gives them a very energy efficient boating gate to help with all the other grass that they have very long time. And if you get their lungs out of the way, they do Eric, they would be all I just feel like lions are always sleeping. Like there's even that song. The lion <laughs> leaves tonight. One, two, three. There's All right, there's, there's a chance. May or may not be lost. And the park is closing. There's literally no one around, and we do not know how to get out. So, okay, update. We made it out. We found our way. Oh my gosh. Carter, how are you doing? You're at the end of your rope a little bit? I know, it's a lot. It's a lot for a one year olds. Okay, we're gonna go now. You guys, it's kind of blowing my mind, but I'm pretty sure Carter knows these word cards because we do them every day. It could be a coincidence, but. Carter, where's the dog? Dog. Good. Where's the ball? Good. Where's the baby? Yes! All right guys, this is a very exciting episode of the vlog. We have a special guest. This is Mandy, one of my oldest, most best friends in the entire world. And the best thing about Mandy, she is so funny. She's so fun to be around. The other thing you need to know about Mandy is she just started a podcast and I am her second guest Ooh. on the podcast and it's my first time ever doing a podcast, ever being interviewed whatsoever. 
The focus of the podcast is reality TV. She talks about The Bachelor, House Real Housewives, the Vanderpump Rules, the, the best dramedy show. of our time. It really is. I will link to it down in the description box. Go listen to it, subscribe. So we are playing a new game called Quip Lash, and it is a game that you play on your phones through the TV. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> we are here. Mandy is getting a hydrofacial. I'm going to get one too. The best part about the hydrofacial is that and it sucks everything out of your skin and you can see it. Isn't oh my that God, it's creepy? So gross. It's one of those things that's like <laughs> gross but so satisfying to see everything that's sucked out of your face. You do yeah. look glowing. It is. It feels like so moist and like soft. Carter, can you say ball? Good. Can you say dog? Can you say dog? Yeah. Good. Can you say mama? Mama. Can you say nine night? No, nine. <laughs> Good. Can you say dada? Dad. Dad. Good. Can you? <laughs> All right, guys, that is going to be it for this week's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Next week, I'm not sure if I'm doing a weekly vlog or something else that I've been wanting to do for a while, which would be my top baby products for the first year and possibly the worst baby products. We shall see. All of that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on Sunday with a new video. Bye.